Well, hello, and welcome back to round two versus Griffin Ferris. Magic Online was sorting out some problems just now uh, with people connecting, but I guess we're back. And the sand is fine. Maybe just suspend Rift Bolt or play our Lava Mansa. Get him out there. Shouldn't be too hard to fill up our graveyard. Are they going to counter it? Oh no, Ancestral Recall. Oh, I forgot this was Powered Cube, but that's just because we don't have any power in our deck, but target yourself, draw three cards. It's pretty good. Oh, oh I thought this was going to be Ancestral Vision too, but no, just a Cloud Skate here. What do we do now? Ultimately, the Dragon Lord will do more damage than the Shrine right away. If we can get a hit in with it. So that's probably the play first off. And against Cloud Skate. We don't want to give up too many counters by them just bouncing it. All right, they've got a lot of cards. Esper, Esper Control, Time Walk? Oh no, we're really going up against the nuts here. They have everything. They're, they're gonna have their fun. I don't know if there's much we can do. Well, they've got a lot of cards in their hand. I guess we just attack with both, and if we get Restoration Angel or whatever else, we're in trouble. Ultimate price, okay. We didn't spend more mana than we had to. Here we can play Shrine and Suspend Rift Bolt. I wonder what they return. Maybe the Shrine, because we won't get the two activations off the upkeep and the Rift Bolt, but I guess it'll kind of work out. Not loving our chances. Them being at 18 life, 5 mana untapped, and they're just going after us. I still think we take out the uh, Skate. Then what? Do we play Chandra or let them counter Shrine of Burning Rage? Ah, they're not doing anything. Not sure if that was right here, but... Like, Chandra, again, if we resolved her, would get more damage in than the Shrine, but... Who knows? Oh no. Frost Titan. Dragonlord Silumgar. This steals a creature or Planeswalker. So we've got to be pretty happy we didn't play Chandra there. And then... Uh, it's so awkward. Alright, Shrine is 3 to activate, so we can't really sacrifice that yet. Vandal would only kill our own Shrine, so that's no good. We have way too many things that kill artifacts, and they don't have enough artifacts. This is This is super awkward. So let's kill their Silumgar by sacrificing two mountains. But if Chandra gets to live, then at least we get some mana ramp off of her. <laughs> and if they reanimate Dragonlord, they could just steal our Chandra. Ah, oh, which they are. And they do. Now, they can't sacrifice Chandra for their cause here. So, if we get to play a spell, maybe Shrine can kill Dragonlord at some point, but we won't have enough mana to get that done. And then they have Unburial Rites. This is not a game that we can win.
Let's see what gift uh, gifts ungiven is doing though. And they've already got the combo here. The unburial rites is already in the graveyard, so they might just pick two creatures that they might want to reanimate. We have to send at least two things that they pick to the graveyard. Um, and the rest go to their hand, but they only have to pick two things or one thing or zero. But they can pick up to four. So the classic combo is Unburial Rites and Grizzlebrand. They both go to the graveyard. You pay four, you have Grizzlebrand. Uh, so what do we get rid of? I guess we can give them their lands to the hand. And I don't mind them spending all this mana to get uh, Snapcaster or whatever back. Figure of density. Yeah, I mean, we could have killed Chandra there. Nothing, nothing's good. <laughs> nothing's great here. Elish Norn. Now we should kill Chandra before they activate her. And cry a little bit on the inside. Six. Just uh, 11 more turns before Shrine is lethal. Vindicate. Ah, here's what we do. I forget if it's alt or control. Let's try control. We're going to target our own. Oh, that doesn't even work. We, we need much more mana to be able to do that. Well, this game did not go our way. And the power, the power was clearly very good. All right, I don't know. We're, we're pretty much done here. I think, I think we're finished here. They could just take another turn. So yeah, that would actually just be lethal there. What can we do against this power? I guess just um, hope they don't draw it. Sneak attack Emrakul could, I don't know, could save us, but. It just makes our deck so much less consistent. All right, on the play, right where we should be. And we've got a turn to Cargan Dragonlord. And an eventual smash to smithereens and burst lightning. Oh, can't even convince them to shock themselves here. So with our the way our hand's set up, we just level up Cargan whenever we can. Or maybe Richard and Port this turn. Yeah, if they do nothing again, Richard and Port gets better. But let's let's be real. We just want a big dragon as soon as we can get it. And the first thing they play might be something we can bolt or deal with otherwise. Especially if it's an artifact. Wouldn't that be great? Yes, good deal. Jace, time walk. Oh no. Well, eventually this might be okay, but I'm glad they do have at least one artifact in their deck. Oh god. Stop. <laughs> Stop playing this stuff. Black Lotus coming out next. Mock Sapphire. Gifts. Yeah, we couldn't have prevented this. 
Uh, we could have with Richard and Port. I think we stopped them from getting all the land they need this one turn. So it's going to be, it might be the two card trick, or it might be just four random cards again. Let's give them, oh, we can't give them Snapcaster. Let's give them Snap, or give them um, Jason on Burial Rights. That looks a bit weird, but give them the most expensive cards. And then they can discard whatever they want. Oh no, Elish Norn. Uh, it's so bad. It's so bad for us. Are we on the mana denial plan? I mean, we, we know their hand. Ugin, too. Pretty good, pretty good. So, three lands, Jace, Ugin, Unburial Rites, and Elspeth. We can, we can keep them off a little bit of land here. So they'll have four, which won't be quite enough for Unburial Rites. And the way we do that is by smashing their Signet, attacking for two, and putting a stop on their upkeep. Doesn't really matter what land we tap, they're all doing the same thing over there. Keep them off double white, maybe. And they have Jace. Jace minuses, so we get to kill Jace here. But maybe we ignore Jace. So they can get back Elish Norn this next turn, just about no matter what. So how much how many points of burn do we have in our hand? Eleven, twelve, yeah. So it looks like our best bet is to get Goblin Guide into play. Attack them. Whoops, no, attack them. And just, you know, hold our burn up here for a turn. We could have tapped a land. Probably should have. All right, here comes the great Elishnorn, our Elspeth son's champion. Okay. Can't attack through that. But they could be dead next turn. If we draw land, they're just dead next turn. Are they looking at, they're looking at themselves, they're fate sealing themselves. It, if they knew our hand, they would know they need to just keep a land off, <laughs> off the top of our deck. So they're at eight, land, I think we did it. Cast with kicker. It's always going to give us the option to redirect, so we don't redirect. We sack two mountains. Yeah, Fire Blast is just one of the best cards you can get in a, a burn deck like this. Wow, we did it. All right. It was a close one. That was a really close one. Well, let's just run it back. I really don't like Emrakul with through the breach sneak attack in this deck. It really is asking a lot. We could get there just by cutting two mediocre one drops. Well, 
I don't know though. I think it's I think it's right to keep these guys in. Keep all our bad cards in. No problem. Maybe they mulligan here. Maybe they're looking at that hand and saying, we could do better. Nope. Or, well, I guess they haven't seen it. So they keep, we will keep this. It gives us, uh, I don't know, some pretty good stuff to do early. A couple creatures, then a shrine. And six points of burn. Make it eight or 10, if you'd like. Yeah, that's it. So they're not gonna be able to stop us from killing the fiend and unlocking the creature, but they can sort of dictate what removal spell we don't use on the fiend for instance, uh, Firebolt. They could steal Firebolt and make us use a, a better spell against it. Yeah. And what are you going to do then? I'll tell you one thing we can do. Attack here, and if they block it, we can make it bigger. And if they don't block it, do we get to play the Dragon Lord? Yeah, that looks okay. We get to kill their fiend anytime we want. But it did prevent that damage going to them. Some good mana over there. Vindicate our thing. That's all well and good. Let's make this guy bigger, get a shrine into play. Keep trading hits. Now when we remove Mesmeric Fiend, it gives a, the shrine a little boost. It looks like we'll want to use Chain Lightning on Mesmeric Fiend because Burst Lightning could just be that much more damage in the late game. Just one more damage could make the difference. Elspeth, uh-oh, there goes our <laughs> offense. Lightning Bolt, 13, 17. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna to wanna to point all of the damage at them, like directly at them. Ignore Elspeth for the time being. Firebolt, I guess we should unlock the Firebolt, shouldn't we? So let's do that with Chain Lightning. Or let's see, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's do it with Burst Lightning. And then Chain Lightning them. And then we could possibly kill them next turn. We'll just have to see. Uh, no, not next turn, but maybe the turn after that.
They need some way to kill our shrine to protect themselves. But this might be their last turn to do it, because pretty soon we'll be able to hold up the shrine. Like, drawing land here is not bad. We firebolt them. Shrine will be up to five. We can wait for it to come back to us. And if it does, then we can, you know, lightning bolt and it'll be up to seven. And that's lethal. And if it doesn't, we have to flashback firebolt to kill them, to finish them off. Figure's never gonna hit again. I'm not sure why they let it hit that time. They wanted this soldier to be better. Be better, soldier. But yeah, with another soldier in play of their own, it's a better blocker for figure. It makes us use more mana to to trade off there. They could be thinking about killing us. I mean, their deck's excellent. Let's just see if it can stand up to the might of Shrine of Burning Rage. Gifts ungiven, watch. <laughs> Time walk? Oh no, too bad we don't have a Sulfuric Vortex in play. Yeah, looks like they're going off here. Can we win? Okay. They might be doing it. Six mana. Worm Coil Engine. No, another time walk. Come on, give me a break. Didn't sign up for this. They've only got one card left in hand, so... With what's on board, we still win. As near as I can tell. No, Riftwing Cloudskate, yeah. Yeah, so in the two turns they had before, in the three turns they had before we get to take one, they um, they stop our shrine from doing any damage. So we've got only seven damage, we're at six. I guess it's ten damage with Rift Bolt. Uh, I think we have to point it at their face. Because we're dead next turn. Almost no matter what we do. We could point it at the Cloudscape, but... Wait, did Fire Blast win it for us? No way. It's exactly lethal? You don't say. All right. Hey, good stuff. Told you this card was good. Not a bad draw. All right, I guess we're in the finals. Take that fun deck with power. You don't need power to win, you just need the uh, fire blasts.